Baby's born premature, maybe got a little oxygen. It's extremely important that an ophthalmologist evaluate the situation. Why? Well, when a child is born premature, um, their eye is very susceptible to oxygen. Uh, it's not completely formed yet. It's, um, the blood vessels have not expanded outward to the edge of the retina. Many years ago when children were born, and I'm talking about 40 years ago, um, they didn't usually survive if they were under 28 weeks of gestation. Now children are surviving very early on. I have some babies that are 24 weeks of age, 23 weeks of age. This is, these are very immature infants and usually they're less than a pound of weight. These children have retinas which have not matured yet. So the oxygen, which is normally in a, ch in a, in a parent's, in the parent, the, the, the mother's womb, is at a certain level. But the oxygen in the air and the oxygen given to these children, nasally or through, um, through tubes, uh, is at such a high, high concentration that it causes the actual vasculature of the eye to grow abnormally. These vessels, if they grow abnormal, um, can bleed. The bleeding can cause scarring, and the scarring can cause detachments of the retina, okay? When we see a child who's 24 weeks of age, uh, we have to look at their eyes at about four weeks of age to see if they have something called retinopathy of prematurity. It's in different stages. We don't worry ab about the earlier stages, but once, when it starts to progress the retinopathy because of abnormal blood vessel growth, these, these, these very immature blood vessels, when they bleed, can cause significant damage. Most of the time, the children can just be watched carefully and will watch the actual retinopathy of prematurity resolve, okay? But if it starts to bleed abnormally, we have to do laser therapy to stop the prevent, to, to prevent loss of vision. So you can prevent the progression? We can usually prevent the progression if caught at an early enough stage and treated appropriately with laser, okay? Unfortunately today, children live they live because of the oxygen therapy. But there's a very fine line between controlling the amount of oxygen where it keeps the child alive and not too much where it causes retinopathy. So every drug has a little poison inside? Even oxygen. So if a kid is premature without getting oxygen therapy, does it see an ophthalmologist too? Well, if the child is below a certain birth weight, they're going to make sure that you see an ophthalmologist. If he do, even room air oxygen could be enough oxygen to cause retinopathy of prematurity. So just because a child didn't receive oxygen doesn't mean we don't check them for, for retinopathy of prematurity. Usually if a child is under 33 or 34 weeks of, of gestation, or if the birth weight is below 4 pounds, they'll usually refer you to an ophthalmologist, a pediatric ophthalmologist usually for evaluation.